Hey there, this is Chad from Zombified Shark. Welcome to episode 5 of our Complex 1 complete walkthrough. Uh, in this episode we're going to discuss the low pass gate, the LPG unit here. And there's you'll notice there's two of them, uh, so you get a two for one on this one, two modules for the price of one. And the LPG is a little bit confusing uh, I'm not gonna lie I this is one that I um, it, it confused me a lot and uh, so I've really had to play with it to kind of understand what to do with it uh, let's get into it first um, uh, let's just see what I've got set up here this is kind of a standard patch uh, where I have just routed my complex oscillator mix into the LPG and then you notice the N is actually down here um, and then LPG out up to here. So interestingly enough nothing happens when you uh, when you do that because it's a gate. It's not being triggered uh, unless you have something in the trigger N. Here I run from my gate to my trigger N and Okay, now the low pass gate is being triggered, and there's an A and an R attack and release. So let's see if I turn that attack up. So you can see attack and release kind of function like you would expect them to. The manual for the LPG mentions it's great for making percussion, percussive sounds. And I would agree. Yeah, it's good for that. So what is all this other stuff here? So again, you got to trigger it, but you can trigger it with lots of different things. Uh, I'm here. We'll watch. We'll trigger it with uh, this square wave here. We'll. square wave triggering it there um, and um, I mean anything could trigger it you know you can you can use whatever you want to trigger it so there I'm triggering it with the oscillator itself just out to into the trigger now it's triggered and it's not triggered now so uh, most basic configuration obviously just running the gate into the trigger in so when you press a key, triggered. So you have the envelope follower here, and uh, here I've just routed this LFO again into the square wave LFO into the envelope follower. So just kind of an interesting way to use it, um, and it's every time that it's tri you can see it's triggering it. The envelope follower is triggering your attack and release stages there. So. Uh, another interesting application. So here you have attack and release amounts and you have an input to be able to automate those amounts and uh, so I've again run LFO to it and you can hit sounds like this when uh, it that LFO fluctuates these amounts. And then if I switch it to a sign be more gradual and it's you know you can imagine these kind of moving up and down um, as as that sine wave is changing um, that's that's kind of what it's doing um, that's a little bit confusing uh, I mean it is for me so that's what it sounds like with nothing then you can hear the attack gets longer and the, re the release doesn't change as much now let's do this so you can kind of hear it it goes to just when it's on the down slope it goes down to nothing almost So, again, another interesting thing you can do. Like I said, it does a lot. 
then you, uh, as previously mentioned, there's your in. Uh, then we have the filter. The filter uh, is kind of unique because it's a low pass gate, but the filter determines what gets through after the release stage. So just kind of listen as I, as I peruse through it here. And so it's it's slowly opening, you know, it's more is slowly getting through. You can hear it's kind of it's dying faster and the higher we go. So that's that's what's going on there with that guy. Um, and it's it's subtle for sure. Last the envelope, uh, which this is an envelope out uh, to direct the, your um, your low pass gate to something else uh, to control something else. So. Um, for example, uh, let's say we try applying it to here, and then if we run out the noise, it does that. Make it uh, make it white noise instead. Very obvious. Now we'll play with this release. Now what if we don't, well, let's run this oscillator here. And then we'll, we'll trigger the LPG with just the regular gate. We're gonna turn the release down. So you can hear now our white noise going into three, we're controlling the volume of our white noise with the LPG envelope going out of here. So, just like that. And again, can be routed a million different ways. That's just one example of how to use that envelope out uh, it's it's an envelope so uh, whatever whatever you're feeling um, it can be routed to your your filter frequency um, just for fun it sounds something like this So I've routed it to, uh, uh, routed my mix to the filter. I routed the LPG envelope out to the filter uh, frequency, and then I can control my attack and release. And it's now kind of a kind of an independent way to control the attack and release and we're only using that one aspect of it we're not using all the other stuff so uh, just it's it's a very flexible tool which is and according to the manual is why they put two of them in there so uh definitely one that it took a little bit of playing with for me to understand what to do with it but once i did i see that it is quite powerful um you just have to get uh, a little practice under your belt with it um, to see how it applies and to see what you can do with it. If I left something out in this one, please let me know. Put a comment in the bottom. Uh, like and subscribe. You know how that stuff goes. Uh, and I will try to get back to uh, any comments that anyone leaves. Uh, and if there's uh, something that you would like to see more in depth regarding the low pass gate, let me know. In the next episode, we're going to talk about the output mixer, um, one of the easier ones to understand. Um, and uh, uh, of course, one of the most important pieces of complex one. So thank you very much for your eyes and ears on this, and I will see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.